Hi everyone, it's your boy Ricky here with Honey Bee Stamps and today I'm going to be showing you a card using pretty much just die cuts. Um, I did use some backgrounds that I had previously made uh, that were just laying around that I needed to use. So I did use those and since the video is going to be kind of short because I didn't really, um, you know, make any backgrounds, I made three cards for you guys today. So we're going to be checking out these lovely lads. Check these out. We use the Wildflowers lay, uh, Lovely Layer Set, and we use the Deckled Edge uh, Rectangle Set, and then we use these Tiny Sentiments. I can't remember what it's called. I'll, you'll know soon when I'm doing the video and announcing everything that I used. But yeah, um, I really enjoyed making these cards. I got to use up some backgrounds that I had just laying around I needed to use. So anyway, sit back and relax, enjoy the video, make sure that you like, subscribe, and you click that bell so that you know Honeybee Stamps has a new video coming out, and let's get started. Okay, to make this card, we are gonna be using several backgrounds that I had in my stash. Um, I made these using some uh, Distress Oxides. I did use one of these, or make one of these with a Honeybee 3D uh, folder. We have the Honeybee Stamps Deckled Edge Rectangles, the Wildflower Lovely Layers, and then the Mini Messages Every Day. Now this is the stamp set that I couldn't remember the name of in the intro, <laughs> and it comes along with these uh, these little uh, dies that we can use to cut out the messages. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a piece of paper and go ahead and cut that in half. This is eight and a half by eleven. I just cut that at five and a half, and then what we'll do is we'll take each one of these flowers and we're going to lay out every piece onto the white cardstock. I'm going to be doing some ink blending here. Or ink dabbing um, so that we can add different colors to different parts of the flowers. So we'll get that all placed onto the white cardstock. I'm going to run that through the die cutting machine. I'm not even going to bother with tape. That's just too much tape. Everything should stick and everything should be fine here. Uh, once we get that out, we will uh, bring the, all the flowers. First, we'll put all the dies in one central location so you do not lose them like I did and spent like 40 minutes finding one little piece. Uh, here we go, we have all the white pieces here. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start coloring um, all these flowers. So I'm just gonna use some Concord and Ninth ink here. And I'm just gonna dab all the bases green that need to be green. I'm using the color parsley here. And we're just gonna dab all that down. And then we have all the bases done and then we're gonna start coloring the flowers. So I'm gonna be using Concord and Ninth um, I believe this is fig. Yeah, so I'm going to use the little tool here and we will do the edges or the bottom edges in this darker purple. And then what you'll see me do is come back with lilac, a little bit lighter, and then we're just going to kind of blend those in together so they kind of just, you know, blend smoothly into one another. Um, you could use, definitely use the Honeybee Stamps brushes. Um, I do have honeybee stamps brushes, but I don't have them for dye inks, only for oxides. So that's why I didn't uh, use them on this project. But you can use any uh, tool that you have to get these colors down. Now we're going to work on this white flower and just do the center. And we just did that with yellow. And now we're going to do the poppy here. And I'm just using uh, poppy, actually the color from um, Concord at Night. Doing the same thing here, just pouncing all the goodness all over these petals, getting all that red, and then we're this one little piece is the center. We're going to be using the uh, Honeybee Stamps Creative Intense Black Ink, and then we'll just pounce that until it's all nice and dark and um, black. And it doesn't take much because it's super small. So actually the hardest part is just keeping it there so that you can pounce it. <laughs> okay, now that we have everything colored, we're gonna start putting the flowers together. Um, in this card, I'm actually making three different cards, you guys. So I hope that you enjoy that. I think this is the first time I've ever made a video with multiple cards, uh, but I didn't do any background. So you didn't have to watch me do that. Uh, we're gonna place some glue on the back of the flower here and get that lined up onto the base. And then what we're going to do is take the little yellow piece, um, the pollen, the stamen, whatever that thing's called, and we're going to put some glue on that. 
and place that down onto the flower. Okay, we have that one done. Next is the purple bell flower thingies, and we're going to be using these super thin uh, foam strips here from Honeybee Stamps. I freaking love these things because they just add the smallest amount of dimension, but just enough to make the card have a touch of fancy. And you guys know I love a touch of fancy. So we have the foam tape on all back on the back of all these flowers. And then I'm just going to remove the um, backing from this. I am using a little uh, X-Acto knife because they're so thin, my big old man hands can't get the paper off like the bigger pieces of foam tape. So we'll just place that down uh, where that's supposed to go onto the flower. And then we'll have all three of those done. We are placing the smallest little piece here. We're not putting any foam tape on this because that would be ridiculous. Um, but we did put some glue and we're just going to put that down for the bud. Okay, now that we have that done, we're going to start putting the poppy together. Same thing, we're just going to glue this down. When I do these lovely layers, you guys, I really love to add dimension to these. I just think they make them a little, you know, classier. Gives your card a touch of fancy. It makes it look like, wow, I worked really hard on this, which, I mean, I guess you really do. But it only took me like 45 minutes to make these three cards. Um, of course, I didn't have to make the backgrounds either. But um, So we'll remove the backing on this, and then we're going to place this onto the uh, second layer here. And then we will take the third piece here, and we will place some foam tape on the back of that as well. Super tiny pieces. Um, get that on there and then we will take the craft knife and pull off the paper and go ahead and put that on uh, the last layer here and you can see where I color where I didn't color that's because this layer was going to be on there but also I didn't realize at the end of the card that I didn't color the whole thing there's a little bit of white left on the top left but you know what it's fine it's fine I'm not going to burn my house down over that <laughs> All right, so we have all the flowers now. Now I'm going to use this deckled edge rectangle to cut out all of these, um, all these like center pieces that we're going to put on the card. And I really love this deckled edge look. It it just gives it like this, like you tore that paper, like you just took your time, honey, like you were just waiting and just needing to have this piece of paper torn the way it is. But you just run it through a die cutting machine and it's like freaking amazing. We'll tape that up, we'll run that through the die cutting machine, and we're gonna do this actually with um, all three pieces. I'm not gonna show you the whole process, I'll just show you placing the uh, die down and then bring it back up so that you can see uh, the result of the deckled edge. It's just really nice to see that like fake torn edge. Um, without having to actually tear the paper, which I mean sometimes tearing the paper is pretty cool, too But you just never know you might tear it just a little bit too much All right, so this last piece here that I put through the um, 3d embossing folder we will run that through and there we go Now I'm going to be using the mini messages to go ahead and get the sentiments out for these cards um, As you can see I pretty much have them laid out now. I just need to get everything put together so that we can start getting the cards together. I'm going to use some uh, embossing ink here to go ahead and get this stamped down onto some black paper and then some white heat embossing powder so that we can get these heat embossed and cut out and ready to go. And there was a little bit of powder around so I had to take that brush and go ahead and clean that off. Um, and we're going to do the heat embossing which is, oh, I'm performing magic here you guys. Heat embossing is totally magical. Okay, and now that we have that, we're gonna be using these uh, miniature dies to cut these out. The reason I like this is because they actually have a flag, a rectangle, and a rounded rectangle, which I really enjoy. So I decided to do one of each here. So we are gonna place uh, the rectangle um, on the happy birthday, the flag on the hello sunshine, and we're gonna use the rounded one on the sending hugs your way. We will tape these guys up, we will place them through the die cutting machine, and we'll go ahead and start putting the cards together. So I am using some foam tape here. I'm just going to put uh, four strips on the back of each one of these. 
and we're going to offset this a little bit and get that put down. I didn't press it right away because I wanted to make sure I liked it. We will take some honeybee stamps glue here and we are going to get this poppy all nice and nice and juicy so we can get this down wet onto the paper so that it sticks. There we go. And then we are also going to do the sentiment the same way with the foam tape. We're just going to take the little piece and put that on to the back of the flag here so that it gets um, a little bit of dimension on the card. So we'll just place that down. And it's just wide enough for this, you guys. I, I couldn't believe it. I was like, wow, this is pretty amazing. Didn't even have to cut that. So, all right, we're going to go ahead and get this little flag down here. I want to make sure it's straight or what, what seems to be straight. And um, I have to hold that up to see it. And there we go. We have card number one done. How pretty. We're going to do the exact same thing, except we're going to offset it a different direction. And we are going to place the flower, I believe, a little bit to the right um, to give it a little bit of, you know, because you don't want it directly in the middle all the time. You kind of want some stuff off onto the thirds of the card. We'll glue that up. And then we'll get that placed down onto the card here. And then the same thing with the sentiment. We'll just put the foam tape on the back. Go ahead and remove the backing and get that placed onto the card. Here I was trying to decide exactly where to put it. I, I think I chose the right spot. There we go. And then last but not least, we have the uh, little bell flower situation here. I don't know what that's called, um, but we are gonna place this just in the center. We're not gonna offset that. And then we're gonna put this whole card together. And then these three cards are complete. I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. I truly appreciate it. Make sure that you head over to Honeybee Stamps and check out all their latest products. Their Adventure Awaits release is amazing. I, I love it. And also check out some of the older supplies like I showed you here. Uh, also check them out over on Facebook and Instagram and all the other places. And then also check me out over on Instagram and YouTube by searching for Brumero Cards. All the products that we used in this video will be linked down in the description, so make sure that you click those links and head over to the store, purchase anything you like. And then here we go, we have all three cards. This is the bell flower, I don't know what that's called. We have this white flower, I don't know what that's called. And then we have the poppy, I know what that's called. And these three cards are complete. Thank you guys so much, have a great week, bye.